Huh. <sighs> At least this hallway's safe. And by safe, I mean... Partially. Rocket launcher? I'm pretty sure I just passed over a rocket launcher, guys. I think it disappeared, though. Ah, oh, come on! This is exactly what I wanted to avoid! Grenades exploding and killing me, causing my death. Fuck this, I'm running. Move it, cunt! There's a rocket launcher! Oh lord, they just don't stop coming. Fuck this. I'm gonna keep going. You guys saw that, right? The, the, the little grunt, bitch. Ooh. Yes, I am shooting them through the wall. Yes, it is working. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh look, the flood. Did that even work? Ooh. Yes! Free kill! Now let's get out of here before more flood come. I'm starting to run out of ammo.
Armory. Engineering. Mm, let's go to the armory. Yes, Invisible Flood. And yes, I remember that scene perfectly. I mean, seriously, you're just kind of sitting there in the armory, you're like, picking up all the shotgun ammo, you're like, oh, this is awesome. And then all of a sudden, you start getting whacked, you're like, what the fuck happened? And then you realize it's Invisible Elite, or Invisible Guys. Thankfully, I don't think Halo 2 has any Invisible Flood. Hell, Halo 3 doesn't have any Invisible Flood. Engine room located. We're here. Oh, that's grand. Alert! The monitor has disabled all command access. We can't restart the countdown. The only remaining option is to detonate the ship's fusion reactors. Oh. That should do enough damage to destroy Halo. Don't worry, I have access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures. I'll walk you through it. First, we need to pull back the exhaust couplings. That will expose a shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive core. Oh, come on! Uh. I fell, obviously. But I pressed space and it didn't jump. You know, you're like, I want to jump, and then it doesn't jump. So now, there are probably new enemies spawning up here. Because they're douchebags. Alright, space. Space. Yes, I know. Good! Step one complete. We have a straight shot into the fusion reactor. We need a catalyst explosion to destabilize the magnetic containment field surrounding the fusion cell. Use an explosive. I recommend a grenade or rocket. If you run out of explosives, there is an armory station located near the engine room's entrance. Analyzing. Fusion oh, what reactor the number one oh, destabilizing. Use explosives on the other three reactors. That should be enough to trigger a wildcat explosion of the engines. A wildcat explosion? What the fuck does wildcat mean? Where are the sentinels? Whoa! Oh, no, you don't. Oh! Well, at least I have a checkpoint. That's convenient. Are you kidding me? I hit E and then it detracted. The hell? I pressed it. E. Oh my lord. I need health. This isn't going to go anywhere. I'm just going to press this. Oh, that grenade was right in there. The fuck? This AI construct possesses far too much data. There you go. I'm gonna go on to the other side. But I need help. There we go, checkpoint. Hello. Hello. Damn it. Why do you keep talking about Cortana? What do you want to do, fucker? 
I don't think that'd work. Keep it up. Only one more fusion reactor to go. Awesome. That did it. The engine's gone critical. Based on the current rate of decay, we should have 15 minutes to get off the ship. We don't have much time. We should move outside and signal for evac. You just Accessing schematics. You just said 15 There's minutes. A service lift at the top of the engine room. It leads to a class 7 service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. You faggots. Oh my. Okay. We should be good now. We should we're going to escape. We're going to get off of Halo while we are playing Halo. Affirmative. Echo 419 going on station. Echo 